Hey guys, this is Grace Hart, and I'm excited to introduce you to the art of paper cutting. In this video, we'll go over what materials you'll need and we'll go over basic paper cutting tips and technique. Paper cutting is one of the oldest art forms and has existed basically since paper was invented in China. Here is the oldest surviving paper cut that dates back to the 6th century. I think it's safe to say that paper cutting has withstood the test of time. Alright, so here's what materials you'll need to get started. First of all, I love using Strathmore's 300 series drawing paper. This paper is a nice soft white color and is a suitable weight. Next you will need a knife and number 11 Excel blades. Excel blades are far superior to any other blades I've tried. You'll also want some sketch pencils for drawing and design. And a metal ruler. You'll want a metal ruler because your knife can cut through plastic or wooden rulers. And last you will need a self-healing cutting mat. Just remember that these mats won't last forever so don't forget to replace them after they get cut up and worn. Here's a recap of what you'll need. Now let's move on to basic paper cutting tips and technique. Feel free to follow along and practice some of these paper cutting exercises with me. The proper way to hold your knife is similar to how you would hold a pencil. You'll have the most control when pulling the knife towards yourself. So if you're just starting out, keep this in mind. Having your knife blade perpendicular to the paper, rather than tilted a little one way or the other, will create the cleanest cuts. The easiest way to cut out a circle is in force, like this. Cut out the small inside pieces first, that way you're not struggling to cut them out later. One tip to keep in mind is to always cut from the paper's strongest point out to the weakest point. So for example, the base of the grass is the strong point and the blades of grass are the weak points. Sometimes the corners don't get totally cut out. As tempting as it might be, don't pull it out. If you pull it out, the corner will fray, so you're better off cutting it with your knife. When I'm paper cutting, I like to remove the excess paper pieces as I go along. It's easier to remove them that way, and it's helpful to see where your cuts are. Well, I really hope you've enjoyed this introduction to paper cutting. Tune in to my next videos where I'll delve into paper cutting even more.